Hello everyone, this is Darren here, and I thought I'd go ahead and show off a little bit of something that I did using uh, Reaper and Short Circuit, although it doesn't matter that it's Reaper, it could be any digital audio workstation, I think. This is just a recording right here of me going, ah, basically, and uh, if we zoom in to where, what I did here, you can see that I'm basically, what it is, is I brought in the in and the out of the audio in, and I set the loop around it so that it loops very fast. And that's the complete sound. Let me go ahead and shut everything down here, and I'll uh, set all this, I'll turn all this off, and uh, I'll... Uh, Put the attack and the release back to defaults. And that's my voice right there. That's my voice right there going through a lot of reverb. Uh, sorry about that. Let me, I can turn that off real quick here too. And so, uh, yeah, I basically just did that. I uh, looped a little tiny section of me going, ah, and uh, I was able to uh, to uh, make an interesting sound. I was actually aiming for the Delia Derbyshire sort of uh, oboe from her, uh, is it Golden Sands and, um, I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. Um, but I'm sure, I, I'm sure there are people screaming at their screens going right now yelling the name of it so uh please uh tell me what that is in the comments below actually i can just go look it up but i don't want to do that right at the moment so um let's go ahead and what i did is i put in a where did it go comb filter and i set it to about 1.2 kilohertz yeah good enough and um, then what I did is I set some random routing to its pitch. Or I should say to, not to pitch, but to F1, filter 1 frequency. And it's set to plus or minus about a half an octave. And then the step LFO is set to a sine wave with 100% smoothing. And that I am sending to pitch with about a 0.2... I don't know what ST means, but uh, if you do it by ear, it makes for a pretty nice uh, uh, vibrato. It's, this is not meant to be a polyphonic instrument. So, And then what we do is we'll bring the attack up to about where I had it, which is oh somewhere in these ranges here. And then we turn the reverb on. And there you have it. Pretty cool, huh? Let's go ahead and uh, we'll reduce the attack back down to, I don't know, tenth of a second or so. We'll bring the release down to about the same. That's kind of oboe-ish, I suppose. Anyway, that's it for me. Uh, just doing a bit of quick sound design here because I've been leaning way too hard on the synthesizer and the organ for sounds lately, and I had uh, forgotten how fun it is to play around with just, you know, me yelling ah or singing ah and, and just messing with it and seeing where it takes me. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this. I would like to thank uh, Nick Maxwell of Ableton, to, uh, Ableton Tutor on Twitter and uh, nixtutorials.com for uh, reminding me of how much fun this can be. So have a great day.